Welcome home, Wolfpack Nation. I hope you enjoyed your time at your daddy's house. You don't want none! You don't want none! What's going on, Tar Hill Nation? It is your favorite North Carolinian, Russ the Tar Hill. And in this huddle, baby, we're going to talk about the North Carolina Tar Hill 79-70 to win over the NC State Wolfpack. Accomplishing the season sweep. Hubert Davis goes to 5-1 and one against the NC State Wolfpack since he's become the head coach at North Carolina. And once again, it doesn't matter who is the ball coach. It's going to be domination. But I will say this. NC State put up a stinking fight, bro. And the beginning of this game... They were on fire, and we are talking about it in the live stream. I didn't know if we were about to see another Judah Mintz ordeal happen where they just shot 60% from the field and then they carried it on into the second half because DJ Horn started hooping, man. He really did. You got to give your shout-out to that guy. But Hubert Davis made the change, and the key change after the break, okay, Carolina's down by eight, 45 to 37. The key change after the break was when he switched Cormac Ryan and he put him on DJ Horn. He Listen, Cormac, go back and watch the tape. He made him earn everything. He made him earn stinking everything because DJ at the break had 16. DJ after the stinking break, my man had 20. That means Cormac held him to four points in the second half, dude. Four points. So, listen, the key to the game right there was slowing down DJ Horn. That was what I said. DJ Horn, DJ Burns. DJ Burns was in foul trouble. He had to sit large portions of the game. That guy finished with six points, one rebound, and one assist. Okay? Not bad at all. That's called getting that guy in check. DJ Horn... Balled out in the first half. He had 16, right? EC just couldn't stay in front of him. And they kept running them off the screens. He's pulling up. You know, he had his way. And DJ is what kept them in the ball game. Well, him and, and Taylor. Because Taylor just went bonkers from three. He goes six for 10, finished with 22 himself to actually lead state in scoring. But the key to this ball game was when Huber Davis put Cormac Ryan on DJ Horn because he made everything tough for him. So, Tip of the cap to Coach Davis. Tip of the cap to my man Cormac because Cormac only finished with five. Only shot the ball three times, one for three from three. He was two for two from the foul line. But my man, he actually asserted himself on the defensive end. And he actually basically won this basketball game for North Carolina by shutting down DJ Horn after the half. So, big time game from Cormac, man. But it's not going to show or reflect in the box score. Now, the thing that does show in the box score is my man Harrison Ingram. Harrison finished with 22 points, six rebounds, and two steals, man. Big game from Harrison Ingram. Armando finished with 13 and 7 in his last home game against NC State. Elliot Cadeau finished with 15 and 7. We're talking about EC penetrating, bro. My man was a floor general today. An absolute floor general. 15 points, 7 assists, and he only had 2 turnovers. That's a 3.5 to 1 assist to turnover ratio. Money. Plus he dropped 15 points. So big game from Elliot Cadeau. 5 for 7 from the field, 4 for 5 from the free throw line. Cannot ask any more from your freshman point guard than to do that. So big game from EC. And RJ had to scrap his way to 14. But... That's just what RJ does, man. It doesn't matter what you do, bro. He's going to get in double figures. So RJ gets in double figures with 14 too. Four Tar Heels in double figures. Four of them. And uh, they outscored NC State by 17 in the second half, man. It was a it was a tale of two halves. It was a tale of two, t two halves, man. Carolina started off pretty well, kind of had control. Coach Huber Davis went to a lineup that a lot of us were talking about. We didn't know where the scoring was going to come from, and then NC State made their run. And then Carolina kind of fell behind, you know, into the break, if you will. But they came out, they scrapped, and I think like halfway through the second half, 
you know, NC State was shooting 8% from the field. So it just shows you that they turned up, man, from the defensive side of the ball. And like I said, once again, can't say it enough, Cormac Ryan on DJ Jones was a game changer. So NC State finishes shooting 41.7% from the field, 47.4% from three, still way too much. Carolina shot 47% from the field and 37% from three, 37.5%. Uh, 38% from three. So they actually ended up out rebounding NC State plus three. But, you know, <clears throat> the first half, man, had us a little worried. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, it, it's kind of one of those things where you hope that it doesn't bite you in the butt later on down the road. It hurt us versus Syracuse, but we locked down against the Wolfpack. And uh, you really want to see these guys put together two halves, um, especially with these games that are coming up. Notre Dame shouldn't be a problem. But when we go to Durham, man, and right now I'm sitting here watching this Duke-Virginia game, Duke is having their way. Um, you know, right now they're up by 19 with 17 minutes left. So um, it's setting up for a big battle in Durham, which are really the only two teams that matter in the state of North Carolina anyway, right? So like I said, NC State fans, man, it was fun. Uh, Daddy enjoyed you coming over and hanging out and everything. Um, but you know, now he's got to go to work. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed your visit. Um, that's how it's always going to be, man. North Carolina over the wolf pack. That's just, you know, the life that we live, dude. 79 to 70 North Carolina moves to 23 and six, 15 and three in conference, solidifying themselves as the number one seed. And you already know, baby, it's always a good day when North Carolina destroys the wolf pack. So, let me know what you think about this game down in the comments section. What do you think about some of the coaching changes? Who do you think actually showed out? What do you guys think about Cormac Ryan just locking DJ Horn down after the break? If you haven't already, man, like, share, subscribe to the channel, and uh, consider becoming a huddle hole again, man, as it helps me keep the lights on. Anyway, appreciate the couple of guys that were hanging out during the live stream. Had a good time, man. Appreciate you guys getting through the technical difficulties with me. And we will do it again versus Notre Dame, baby. So 79-70 North Carolina over the Wolfpack. How about them heels, bro? We'll catch you on the next one.